beloved in Christ. Be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass and the babe lying in the manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the last days of our disobedience to the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this church glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and brotherhood within the church Christ came to build, and especially for this kingdom and within all the dominions of our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth. Let us pray for this parish of Chipping Barnet and for all the peoples of our town and community, for our Diocese of St Albans and Allen, our Bishop. And, because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all who know not the Lord Jesus, or love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joy of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. God announces in the Garden of Eden that the seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent's head. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among all the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, 
Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat for all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God. taken from Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2, 6 and 7. Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. Micah 5, verses 2 to 4. The prophet foretells that a saviour shall come from Bethlehem. 
But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to rule Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall, shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God.
The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee, Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
The sixth lesson is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. Oh, now in 
The seventh lesson is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 16. The shepherds go to the manger. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Thanks be to God.
The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God.
John unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who believe and received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. In this time of pandemic, uncertainty and distress, sustain, support and guide the anxious and fearful. Bless those who tend the sick and be a strength to those in sickness and need at this time, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thine only Son, Jesus Christ, Grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always Amen